So we want to take you to another breaking story. We're following this midday new developments in the Crystal Rogers case. One of the men charged in connection to her disappearance was in court this morning, hoping to get his charges dropped. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy is live in Nelson County. He just spoke with the defense attorney of Steve Lawson and Sean, what did they have to say? Well, I mean, really, the issue here, Olivia, is immunity. Steve Lawson wants it. The Commonwealth has offered it. But there's one pretty big stipulation in that deal, or at least that's the way the Commonwealth views it, and it's that he needs to be 100% truthful. Uh, Commonwealth says that's not been the case. Uh, and Lawson's attorney, Ted Lavitt, says his client has, quote, done his best to be truthful. And in court today, Lavitt argued for his motion for immunity. Special Prosecutor Shane Young says the Commonwealth isn't going to do that until Lawson separates his truth from his lies. Uh, Special Prosecutor Shane Young again, that is. Young used four different examples, uh, one of them being a phone call made to Hauk allegedly telling him the job had been done. Lawson previously admitted to making that call under oath. It's yet another thing the defense disagree with. Uh, I asked the, the defense attorney, Ted Lavitt, point blank if that phone call was ever made. He says, no, that phone call was never made. Uh, he believes the phone call in question was just a phone call about an apartment from Brooks Houck that his niece could rent uh, sometime in the future. Ted Lavis says his client is also responsible for getting prosecution, the information to bring charges on Brooks Houck, who is charged with Crystal Rogers murder. And that's a pretty big deal, he says, and the Commonwealth needs to honor their agreement, whether or not uh, it's something that he was 100% truthful about or not. And if he's not given immunity, then he says it's natural to say that anything that they've gotten from his attorney shouldn't be used in a trial against Brooks Houck, which could obviously be damaging to the prosecution's case there as well. The judge heard all this. The judge had a lot of questions. Uh, the judge says he'll get back to this and make a ruling on this as soon as he can. Reporting live from Bartstown, Sean Bowdy, Wave News. Sean, thank you.